G'day, Tony and Brett from Bright Advice. Good to have your company. Of course, this is Money Minute. Now, Brett, the perennial question, how much do you need to retire on? How much do you need to get by on? What's your view on that? Uh, it's, a, it's a very interesting question. It's one that's always asked, but it's one that's very hard to answer. It's You could be a, a millionaire, but if you're going to spend uh, more than you're earning uh, with your million dollar nest egg, the, the million dollars is going to shrink over time. Whereas you might only have saved yourself a couple of hundred thousand dollars. And you know, if, if you're living within your means, then it means you're going to have a successful retirement. So I think beauty is in the eye of the beholder. And as much as we try and come up with numbers and, and you've got ASPA and they talk about their retirement living standards, I think to personalise it, you need to actually look at it from your own lens and how you're currently living. And if you're not yet retired, how much you might need will involve how much you're currently spending versus how much you're currently saving. Yeah, uh, if you're saving a good, if you're saving a good lick of money now, then you know you're not going to necessarily have a big gap between what you're currently living on and what you may need to live on in retirement to sustain your, your life. Yeah, definitely. You know, there's so much time that is spent pre-retirement getting savings up and running and getting yourself organised, isn't there? But at the end of the day, it, a lot of it comes down to how much you spend in retirement. So budgets are a big deal. Now, Brett, budgeting or retirement's pretty boring stuff but it's really essential, isn't it? Look, it's one of the core ingredients. It's the flour and the cake. And so if you don't know what you're going to spend, if you don't know what you're currently spending, how can we actually work out how much you can afford to live on in your retirement and how long it's going to last? Yep, absolutely. Okay, so bottom line there, Brett, in terms of retirement and retirement and getting ready for retirement, there's a few things we've discussed. It's really about how much you spend, but a huge amount of it, don't you think, is about actually getting your budget right. And I tend to find, I don't know about you, when we're dealing with clients in the first year or two of retirement, tuning in or just getting that rhythm and routine of spending, it can take a fair bit of work, but it's something that's really worth putting your shoulder into and actually having a go at budgeting. As boring as it is, it really gets that routine cash flow going and also allows you in a much more accurate way to project just how long your savings for retirement are going to last. I think that's the last thing to mention too, Brett, something we do a huge amount of work on for our clients here is projections. So annually, we like to work out just how long your money's going to last for you, but that requires a set of inputs and the inputs need to be fairly steady, don't they? So amongst those inputs though, are the old living expenses and let's face it, that's probably the most important part of it. What's your view on that? Look, I think while you're still working, it's a great opportunity to, to dress rehearse what you think you might need. So irrespective of running a budget or not, if, you, if you're going to pluck out a figure of 50, 60 or $80,000 a year, try living on it for a while and see how you go because it actually might change your view of when you want to retire or it might change your view of how much you need to have saved before you consider retirement and you've got the safety net of not pulling the pin too early. Yeah, absolutely. So bottom line, a bit of preparation as always goes a huge way, doesn't it, Brett, just with retirement yes, planning as well. So folks, that's Money Minute this week. Good to have your company. We're going to see you again very, very soon. And in the meantime, keep well. Bye for now.